a lot of you guys out there say cycle cruiser man you need to step up you know get a ducati street fighter v4s uh, or get a bmw s1000 double r or get a harley davidson bagger you know what i'm saying you know all these bikes are damn near twenty thousand or twenty thousand dollars plus but i'm gonna tell you this guys i'm gonna tell you why you should never spend more than ten thousand dollars on a motorcycle and after you watch this video, you probably won't. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. No matter what motorcycle you ride, guys, I make sure you're wearing the full gear to stay safe out there. And I have links to all my gear, like this awesome ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tint shield. My airbag vest that never I leave home without keeps me safe. Uh, shorty gloves. Uh, see armor jacket. Links to all my gears in the description and comment section of this video. Just listen to this. Listen. I'm telling you, man. I paid nine thousand plus mods and everything. I think this adds up probably about ten thousand dollars, guys. Ten thousand. And I'm gonna tell you this, guys. Out of all the motorcycles that I've owned, and I've owned over twelve, like twelve bikes, and I've two of them were very expensive, well over ten thousand dollars. And I've come to realize that after riding this bike and my Supermoto and and other bikes I've had, that honestly. You don't, it's a waste of money to spend any more than $10,000 on a motorcycle. First off, the number one reason why you shouldn't spend more than $10,000 on a bike, obviously because when you buy a new bike and when you leave with that new bike, it's already lost value, <laughs> like new cars, okay? Uh, now mind you though, if you buy like a Kawasaki H2 or something, uh, you know, those, those bikes can hold their value. Out here downtown, baby, uh, or special edition bikes or whatnot. Sometimes those bikes you can actually gain value on, man. Um, in that case, I would spend, you know, the honestly, I wish I'd have bought a Kawasaki H2, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I think one day those things are going to be worth a lot, a lot of money, man. Uh, just amazing bikes. Um, but I'm going to tell you this another reason why is utility value. You have to ask yourself. What? What you talk? <laughs> okay, I'm telling you, you get some crazy, so crazy folks down here downtown, man. But anyways, but I'm telling you, as far as utility value, I always think, you know, what am I getting with a bike that's thirty thousand dollars that I'm not getting with, like, say, this bike or MT09 that's like ten thousand bucks or whatever? What are you getting with that bike? Yeah, you may be getting a little bit more horsepower. Um, and a little bit more uh, quality parts on it or you know quality components uh, like electronic suspension or whatnot but honestly when it comes down to you riding the bike what well how much are, is it really worth paying that extra money <laughs> are you really getting that much extra value out of the bike are you gonna be having that much more fun on a thirty thousand dollar bike versus this nine thousand dollar mt07 or a $10,000 MT-09 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You have to ask yourself that because I've come to realize that this is what I do most of the time. I'm out here in the city, stoplight to stoplight, guys. Cruising, you can't speed. I want to feel that torque. See, I can feel that torque on here. I want. That's why I want, I've come to realize that it's all about the bottoming grunt, you know? So why waste money on a $30,000 bike. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know some of you guys out there have a lot of money to blow. And and uh, some of you guys are, are Harley snobs. You think Harley Davidsons are the, the greatest gift to mankind out here. And uh, and you got to show off your Harley Davidson, which most of these people could give a crap. Because a lot of these people care less about motorcycles. A lot of them think we're D-bags out here. Um, but in your mind, you're a legend in your own mind with your... <laughs> <laughs> with your Harley Davidson you think is the baddest bike out here on the streets when I could probably blow it away on my MT-07 but hey whatever makes you happy man but you know you you spending that 20,000 plus dollars on that bike ain't gonna make you no more happy you'll probably be more happy on this MT-07 straight up ironically I bought my MT-07 at a Harley Davidson dealership honestly there is really no reason at all to ever pay any more than ten thousand dollars for a bike to be honest with you unless like i said it's an investment where you know you're going to make some money off of it like honestly i wish i'd have bought that 
uh, Ducati Panigale 1299 Final Edition R because those bikes now are commanding used like fifty thousand plus dollars, man. You you could buy that bike brand new. I think back in the day it was like thirty five thousand or something like that, forty five or something. That bike's only going to gain value probably at some point. And uh, the Kawasaki H2, if they stop making that, guys, that bike is going to be command top dollar. So it makes sense to spend big bucks on that bike if you're going to get a big return on it. But otherwise, as far as pure utility value riding a motorcycle and your enjoyment, I'm telling you, man, save your money, guys. <laughs> and also, what makes sense with paying, uh, you know, 10,000 or less for a bike is that usually you could save up for that so you could pay cash you don't need to, to finance the bike and you know I'm all about living a debt free lifestyle I live 100% debt free house everything paid for 100% man it's much easier living that way you don't want to be paying motorcycle payments guys seriously and with the 10,000 most people can, can buy a $10,000 or less bike and pay cash for it okay May, if you can't then save up and it won't take you very long but thirty thousand dollars that's good <laughs> uh, even if you can save up that amount over time you know what I'm saying red bomb baby red bomb <laughs> even if you can save up that you can't save up that amount of money I'm saying deep why blow it on that guys put it in some index funds or something make some interest off of it man <laughs> why am I downtown here guys seriously you know what I'm saying honestly leave a comment below guys and let me know what, what do you guys think you know why would you pay over ten thousand dollars for a motorcycle like what, what is your reasoning let me know like I want to hear what you guys have to say and oftentimes you can buy a used bike that was once well over 10,000 you could pick up for less than 10,000 now look at some awesome bikes I found a Priya 2 660 less than 9,000 bucks KTM 690 SMCR Supermoto less than 10,000 DRZ 400 Supermoto 5,200 bucks Indian Scout Bobber less than 8,000 bucks a KTM 790 Duke $6,000 all awesome bikes Make sure to hit thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when new videos come out. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.